In 2017, Kato USA released their Unitram V60 set of street tracks and road plates. I'd like to show you how to use this set, Kato Dai Town Buildings, and Kato Light Rail Trams to create an awesome compact city streetcar layout with practically no modeling skills. This is what's in the V60 set except for the power packs and light rail trams which you have to buy separately. Kato has done a good YouTube video showing the part details and how you snap the pieces together. My V60 nearly complete here per Kato instructions and video. The protruding surface details, tram stop, catenary posts, North American traffic lights are going to be your only modeling challenge. They have to be cut off a plastic sprue and these delicate six millimeter quarter inch parts have to be tightly pressed into holes in the surface plates. Uh, you need good plastic sprue cutters, soft tip tweezers, care and patience. Compared with the Japanese Unitram V50 version, the V60 comes pre-printed with modern North American right-hand traffic street markings, concrete sidewalks, and yellow dividing lines on the tracks. To allow room for more buildings, I've added a Japanese 40-820 street track set. You can see the difference in the Japanese left-hand traffic street markings, tiled sidewalks, parking spaces, etc. To expand the V60 system, I hope Kato will consider making North American versions of these parts and some of the other extension sets. Okay, ready to run now, but looks a little bare. First, let's accessorize with some Kato Diotown buildings that would fit the 50s to the modern era and some North American vintage autos and Peter Witt trams from competitors. Ta-da! V60 accessorized. A realistic city streetcar layout in only about a two foot square. Actually, 682 by 620 millimeters. Let's run some trams. Here it is at street level. Let's go up in the sky to check it out with Captain Steve in Chopper 9.
The buildings and streets look quite realistic from the air. You modern modelers probably want to see the V60 running with Kato's Portram or Centrum light rail trams. These are Japanese prototypes, but rather worldly looking low floor trams. Mine are beautifully detailed engineering marvels. Smooth running, even over turnouts and crossovers. See-through see glass, interior lighting, running lights. I wish Kata would make more trams like this. I hope you enjoyed seeing the V60 accessorized and running. Really, I hope you run right out, get yourself one, a power pack, trams, and buildings, and start having fun. That'll help grow this, this niche city streetcar market, and maybe we'll get more products. The V60 as an oval is kind of limited right now, but I think there'll be a lot more stuff added in the future. We can look to Japan to see what can be done with city light rail and train modeling. In 2015, I started an elaborate Japanese layout. Unitram is shown in yellow. Unitram double track turnouts and crossovers allow more interesting streetcar running. More, more numerous variations of Japanese road plates allow for realistic and complete city street structures. Unitram track can connect to ballasted track to handle right-of-ways or grades such as this work-in-progress duck under. Combining express rail, commuter rail, light rail, buildings, streets, and a backdrop can give the effect of a bustling city. Using very little modeling skills, you can create quite an impressive effect in 3.5 by 7 feet about one by two meters. So Kato, how about some North American trams like a modern streamliner or a boxy millennial or something even older than this Peter Witt? I would like to see Kato do a vintage tram that ran in 33 North American cities from 1936 to about 1960 the PCC. In San Francisco, since 1983, about 30 restored PCCs have been running in tribute liveries of various North American cities, and they've been running with modern trams. And Kato, could you please make your PCC just as good as your Portrams and Centrums, with blackened wheels, and with an MSRP just a little less? Darn, I forgot we've already got a PCC from a competitor, running jackrabbit strong for about 40 years. And don't you just love those little people painted in the windows? I'll finish up with references. Finding technical information, dimensions, track plans on Unitram can be pretty difficult and is scattered about. 
The Kato Japanese V50 manual is one source and is more extensive than the V60 manual in English. Another source is the um, content sheets that come with some of the extension sets, and I've copied one of those here. Below is useful information on Unitram from the Kato USA website. Not sure if the links will work in YouTube. Thank you.